God has turned it for good. Last week when we were here, we handed out a few Bibles. And if you need one, I will give you one. Every situation in life, every negative situation, the answer to that problem is in the Word of God. Amen. Every problem that anyone has ever had on this earth the answer is in the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. It's not in money. It's not in possessions. It's not in drugs. It's not in alcohol. It's not in riches and fame. It's in the Word of God. And Jesus said, if you change the way you speak, and you speak the Word of God, you will get exactly what you say, which is life and everlasting life. Last week we handed out Bibles because I want everyone's life to get better. We are on this earth to help you find a better future. Jeremiah 29 11 says, we spoke on this last week, says, God Almighty says, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you, but to give you hope and a future. And truthfully, a lot of people don't care about anyone but themselves. Let's be real. But you can tell real Christians because they care about someone else besides themselves. So we are here to make sure you get back on your feet. So when you get back on your feet, you can help someone else beside yourself. Amen? I like this. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm Amen. proud of all of you. You all are so amazing. But today's Bible verse is for the brand new year 2018. And it's found in Galatians. Galatians is in the, new, in the New Testament. Last week we studied a Bible verse in the Old Testament. The New Testament is called Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. Can everyone say Galatians? Galatians. Chapter, six, Chapter 6, verse 9. Verse nine. It says, and I'm going to paraphrase it for you. I will not grow weary in well-doing. For in due season I will reap because I did not faint. Let me paraphrase it in another way. You, when you do right all the time, there's y'all, you do more right than you do wrong. That's the truth, or you wouldn't be here today. You know how many people have gone out and overdosed on drugs? You know how many millionaires have committed suicide because they had everything, but they were empty inside? You understand? I'm proud of all of you. You're here. You're eating Amen. breakfast. Amen. You have a hope and a future. And there are people praying for you to get better and better and better so your life is full of joy and love and perfection. Amen. Galatians 6, 9 says this, and if you speak it, it says, I will not grow weary in well-doing. For in due season, in other words, at the right time, I will get all of my reward because I persevered and never gave up. There are too many people on this earth that have given up and never reached their goals and their destinies. There isn't a human being on this earth that doesn't have an up and a down and an up and a down. Enough is enough. We have to say, Lord, I will never give up just because I have a down day, a down week, or a down year. Because it always goes back up. Amen, Pastor. Amen? Amen. Because Galatians 6, 9 promises you have you ever had a promise made to you and it actually comes to pass? Yeah? Yes. I have. Amen. And it feels so good. But God's word never lies. And Amen. he says, when you speak my word, you can read it, but you have to speak it. And what comes out of your mouth has to be truth. When I speak Galatians 6, 9, it's going to happen for me. So I'm proud of all of you for never giving up, or you would be sitting here this morning enjoying your breakfast. Amen. 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 Is, is that why you, the phrase says, I, I cried, but I did not faint? Exactly. 
Because fame uh, means like giving you know, up, giving up, forgetting about God. Here's what exactly what his question is perfect. I do not grow weary in well doing, but in due season at the right time, I will reap all my good reward because I never gave up. That this is what giving up means. God I don't need you anymore. I'm not going to pray anymore. I'm not going to read my Bible anymore. What good does it do? I prayed once and it didn't happen. That's what giving up means. Job, one of the richest, wealthiest, nicest men on this earth. He had more limousines in today's terminologies. He had more mansions in today's terminologies. He was wealthier than all the millionaires put together. And God tested his heart. To say, what's more important, all your money or me? And Job never gave up. Job went, to he, he prayed and he prayed and he prayed and he said, God, what did I do wrong? Is there something that I did wrong? And because he never said, give me all my money back. I want all my possessions back. Oh, what are people going to think of me? Job was more concerned about going to heaven or going to hell. He did not want to make it to hell. So he was more concerned about his relationship with God. So he never said, Lord, I curse you. I don't want to be reading my Torah anymore because they had the Torah. I don't want, he did, he did not want God to be upset with him. All of you don't want God to be upset with you. How do you, how do you keep God on your side? Someone answer that. How do you keep God on your side? You read your Bible and you pray. And you be nice to other people. Amen. Do not grow weary in well-doing. For at the right time, you're going to get all your rewards back. All the desires of your heart. Because you kept reading your Bible. Because you kept praying. That's the answer to 2018. Getting better and better and better. When you put more God in the mix, God is love. God is merciful. God is grace. God is joy. All the good things. It's like it's like making a cake mix. The more sugar you put in there, the sweeter it gets. Amen. Putting coffee in there, the more sugar, the sweeter it gets. Yep. Well, in your life, Amen. add God to it, and the better it gets. Amen. So you speak God's word. Everyone say this. I will not grow weary. I will not grow weary in well doing. In well doing. For at the right time, for at the right time, I will get all my good rewards. I will get all my good rewards because I persevered. Because I persevered and I never gave up. And I never gave up in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus Heavenly name. Father, I thank you for these awesome people. Good morning, everyone, and good morning to your new future in 2018. Heavenly Father, we thank you. I apply the blood of Jesus over every single one of them, the fire of the Holy Spirit and the whole armor of God. I dress them with the armor of God so when the devil's temptations come their way, they are strong enough to say, get out of here. Leave me alone, Satan. Get thee behind me. I serve the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So, Lord, I thank you in Jesus' name that you bless these people in the year 2018. Bless their future so bright that they will, they will understand the favor that they have. How did I get all this favor? And the more favor they have, their, their life gets better and better and better as they read their Bible daily. Heavenly Father, I thank you again. Bless their food. Have a blessed nurse their bodies and give them strength. Keep them healthy, healthy and strong. And Lord, bring them the desires of their heart this year. In Jesus' mighty name, everyone said? Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you all. Enjoy your breakfast. Anyone that needs a Bible, I will get it for you. That Bible will help you every day. If you spend five minutes reading your Bible, anywhere in that Bible, you spend five minutes reading your Bible, God will bless you for spending time with him. I promise you, your life will get better because the Bible doesn't lie. All right? Repeat after me, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus come, into my heart. come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. I believe you died on the cross for me. I believe you died on the cross for me. And rose again. Holy Spirit, 
if there is anything in my life that shouldn't be there, get it out and add what should. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life and help my loved ones make it to heaven too. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, God bless you all. Enjoy your breakfast. God bless you, friend. going to it's already done he said it's finished he didn't say to be take what the devil has given you and turn it into good give us this day our daily bread Her trip to heaven will amaze you. Squished me into him. I felt the creator of the universe melt. Dr. Gabriel Hope and I Am Ministries begin with the one-on-one -on -one visit to heaven with the Father. And now an impartation of this love, compassion, power, and joy is imparted into all those who attend the I Am meetings. Healings, miracles, and liberty manifest during these meetings. But the highlight is when unanswered prayers come into fruition immediately. People from across the globe are lining up to meet the God that changed the life of Dr. Gabriel Hope. stand in unity the fire would be unmeasurable but it's the devil's job to get us too busy and too angry with each other to get along that jealousy and pride has to weave itself in there enough is enough is enough father I need a GI I need a God idea will you please impart to me something that will set me financially for the rest of my life but listen, don't limit him. He's a God of diversity. He says, wait a minute. Why do you ask me for one? I'm a king. I own a cattle on a thousand hills. Ask me for more. I just smelled the Holy Spirit all over her. Pray in tongues. Father, I thank you for these God ideas birthing. 
Where's Come on, my... put your hands together! Dr. Gabriel Hope has been welcomed into the Arab in nation with her main ministry she sat on the for land nearly of two decades. With the favor Dr. Of Dr. Hope has been inspired Royal by Hope. many, She's including Reinhard Bonnke, T.L. Osborne, Billy Graham, and His Majesty King Hussein of Jordan, just to name a few. Dr. Hope supports orphanages and caretakers at SOS villages in Amman, Jordan, and all over the world. But most importantly, the resurrection power of Jesus Christ burst forth in Gabriel Hope's healing festivals and miraculous signs and wonders follow. The dead have been raised and blinded eyes have been opened supernaturally. We can change the world. What the devil intends for bad, God will turn for good. Because I have the fullness of God in me, it doesn't matter what happens to me, I know. Dr. Gabriel Hope is the host of three TV shows on the Royal Steps Network. She is the author of 12 books, co-producer of the upcoming feature film Royal Steps, and a music artist and songwriter, among others. Yet, if you ask Dr. Hope, why do you exude such grace, joy, and confidence? Her answer is, because I have sat on my heavenly daddy's lap. And if you ask her, who is your heavenly father? She will boldly reply, he is the Lion of Judah, the Great